Trust is the fundament on which businesses and economies should be built upon in a digital world. Trust can only be achieved and maintained where buyers, partners, employees, and ultimately information and data are safe and secure. Having said that, it is my greatest pleasure to opening our next Partner Executive Dialogue here at our Bechtle Competence Days 2021. Welcome, Mr. Ken Shi, the founder and chief executive officer of Fortinet, as well as Mr. Michael Guschelbauer, the COO of Bechtle and, as you all know so well, the host to these Bechtle Competence Days. Thank you, Michael and uh, Michael. We're happy to be here attending the Bachelor Conference. Uh, glad to meet everybody here. Hi, Ken. So, so it's a pleasure for us that you're making this dialogue during our Bechtle Competence Days. And um, the partnership with, with Fortinet is growing rapidly. And both the whole Bechtle team and, of course, our customers um, value Fortinet's technologies, products, and especially the partnership. So thank you for making this dialogue with us. Thank you, gentlemen. And Ken, what is your take on this partnership with Bechtle? Yeah, we have built in a long-term, strong, broadly partnership for many years. And uh, we feel uh, we each has a win-win situation, has the best position to keep in a close partnership, uh, especially solve this separate security issue. And uh, it's, uh, so far, we are very happy with all the, all the cooperation we, we make together. And, uh, but also we see a lot of things we can keep enhancing. Uh, like, uh, and also we also appreciate Bachelor invest heavily <laughs> in the partnership, like uh, have over 70 NIC certified engineer and uh, has a lot of uh, uh, supporting and uh, people working together with us daily. And at the same time, we also um, kind of uh, working together, try to see what's the customer need going forward, how we can best serve our customer together. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Ken. And, you know, as companies accelerate the adoption of new technologies these days, ranging from artificial intelligence to the Internet of Things, as well as to enable even larger workforces to work from remote, how does this change the meaning of information security and what action needs to be taken now? Uh, Michael, cybersecurity is a very dynamic, fast-changing industry. And uh, they also has to be follow out a lot of new technology, like you mentioned, from the AI, from the IoT, from the new 5G, 6G infrastructure. And once get more people, more devices get connected, they are also have an additional risk, uh, how to deal with all this connection and uh, how to be kind of uh, efficient at the same time, uh, be safe. Uh, so that's why we feel uh, we need to keep up the innovation and also follow the chain quickly. At the same time, stay very closely with our partner, with our customer to address their issue, their concern. Uh, because if you cannot follow the chain quickly, embrace all the new technology, like from AI and some other uh, IoT technology, uh, you just cannot serve the customer in real time and uh, to solve their issue quickly. Uh, because it's a separate security and same time uh, as today, the, the data or the information gets so important, so valuable, so kind of a uh, major part of their everybody's business right now. So we need to make sure I able the customer not only leverage the new technology, but also using it safely and uh, working with partner uh, to keep improving all their daily life and at the same time uh, kind of uh, uh, enjoy all this new technology together. Yeah, from, from our point of view, we see the customer as a holistic uh, picture. And in this picture, information security plays an, a, a main role as, as a glue for modern IT architecture and infrastructure setting. Yeah. So everything is nothing without um, information security. Yeah. And we do a lot to, to make this picture complete and invest a lot to deliver solutions within information security. Yeah. And Ken, you already mentioned it. Do you agree 
the more connected, the more vulnerable. A major contradiction, isn't it? Everything and everyone is connected and because it is good for business and it's good for the people, but this also creates these new threats and vulnerabilities. And how to find the balance, Ken? Uh, it's just like, uh, first today, we, we just cannot get disconnected anymore. And uh, that's where, because uh, it's our daily life right now. And uh, just like uh, you build all the highway, you can freeway, you can travel faster airplane, and that could be a little bit more dangerous. But if there's a way you can design in the system, uh, the infrastructure uh, can be also safer and at the same time more efficient. So that's where I'll be keeping saying, promoting since the company started 21 years ago, we call the, the network secure, secure driven networking and also making the whole infrastructure secure from the beginning when you design a system and instead of more patch on later. Uh, so that's where the secure driven networking concept really, when you like embrace the new technology from SD-WAN, from the 5G, from all this IoT, the smart city, connect the car, design in the security together when you're building the infrastructure and making the whole networking connection with security in the mind from our beginning. Uh, so that's where I also want to build it security and networking integrate together and automate together. Uh, just like today, there's a market system, uh, whether in the travel industry, airplane, I mean, air travel industry, uh, in the medical industry, in the in the uh, in some other industry, uh, which they also make sure security is a part of the the whole infrastructure from the beginning. We feel if we can keep that in mind, we we could be uh, more connected and same time uh, better safer. I totally agree. Um, I think the balance is more a best of need than a best of breed, as shown in our Bechtle competence uh, days. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned before, uh, digitization is also forcing um, the transformation of security and networking. And, and our customers are well advised uh, to harmonize their infrastructures, um, consolidating their vendors and uh, finding a strategic partner uh, for the end-to-end -end security uh, like Bechtel and Fortinet. Yeah. Because uh, from our point of view, that, that is one of the, the, the most important strategic aspects in these times. Yeah. Thank you. And, and Ken, we want to take the opportunity to refer to an additional important role uh, you're in. You're a founding member to the Center for Cybersecurity at the World Economic Forum. And that gives you this truly global perspective, obviously. And what are the next really disruptive forces and challenges you see coming and what can companies do now to be somewhat prepared? Uh, so Fortinet is the founding member of a C4C Center for Cybersecurity under the WAF, the World Economic Forum, because we feel it's a good platform has not only the, the business company side, uh, also can work in with from like uh, government, from education, from the, all the other uh, <clears throat> other industry together, uh, because we see address the cybersecurity is more than from the business side, technology side. You also need to have certain like a policy, sort of education and the training and all the other different part uh, <clears throat> uh, working together to solve the issue. Uh, so that's what we keep in promoting, like uh, training education, I feel is very, very important uh, because it's a very fast growing industry. And same time, new technology, new things come up every year, also need to keep learning there. So we feel there's also a big shortage of the, the, the expertise in, in this industry. And so we're working with better and also other partner uh, try to promote more training and especially even training from the young age uh, to, 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 the, uh, to the young people to quickly get into the industry or at least understand the importance of our cybersecurity. At the same time, we also see there's a new technology uh, innovations important, but at the same time also working with different part of uh, like a government and uh, all the university and now the non-profit and the, uh, make sure not only we address cybersecurity issue, but also improving the environment and same time have all the social responsibilities also very, very important. So that's what we see is a, 
it's a very good platform uh, under the C4C and also the same time kind of working closely with a partner to address some other issue beyond the technology that being designed. So thank you, Ken, for uh, sharing your insights and um, forward thinking with us during our competence uh, days. Uh, it was a great pleasure um, having you and looking forward, and I'm looking forward to our ongoing good partnership and, and our growth in the next couple of years. Uh, so thank you, Ken. Yeah, thank you, Michael and Michael. We're happy to be partnered together with Beta, and also we see we have a bright future. Uh, definitely, we're working hard to enhance our great partnership together. Yeah, perfect. Thanks a lot. Um. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for taking the time today. We are already coming to an end. Um, it was a great pleasure having both of you with us here at the Bechler Competence Days. And thank you for your great insights that you shared with us. And I'm sure we will touch upon many of these over the remains of that second day of our Bechler Competence Days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.